Next, we're going to talk about viewing option chains and placing option orders. There are two ways to pull up an option chain in the Zener 360. The easiest would be to run it right off your order entry window. And you can do this, uh, again, by clicking on a symbol in your quote board, or you can enter the symbol. In this case, we're going to trade euro options, or at least we're going to look at euro options. I'm going to go ahead and add the euro to our quote board so we can easily navigate to the euro at any time. To pull up an option chain, you click on the little chain link on the right-hand side of the order entry window, and it automatically brings up any option that's associated with that underlying. So we chose the December euro currency future, and you'll notice we can toggle between expiration dates. If we'd like to see more strike prices than are currently visible, we can change the range from near to in the money, out of the money, or all. Obviously, if you choose all, it's going to give you everything, and that can be a little cumbersome sifting through. I recommend that you go to near, and then you simply change the number of strikes that you want to see by toggling up or down. This just makes it a little easier to, to deal with. Uh, you'll notice the current price right here, the 10, I'm sorry, the 110.32 is the bid. So we know that the current market price is somewhere in here. If we wanted to trade an at the money call or put, we could click on the row. And you'll notice if I'm clicking on an option, it populates our order entry ticket. So if I wanted to trade this put, I would click on it, and then I would come to our order entry window, and I would change the limit. I could toggle the price up and down. One thing to keep in mind, you never want to place a market order on op. Most exchanges will reject it, so if you did try to buy this option using a market order, it probably would reject it. However, our best policy is to place a limit order. And you generally want to split the bid and ask. You'll notice that the bid ask on this option is 130 at 128. And as I mentioned before, the market will automatically populate a buy to the ask price and a sell to the bid price. See, it's going from 128 to 130. I recommend that you place the order in between. So we could place an order at 129. Hit transmit. Verify the order. And now we see it in our working orders tab. Now, once again, this window is customizable. By default, you'll notice the call strikes are all the way on the left, whereas the puts are also on the left, but they're centered. You can easily change this by simply dra dragging and dropping. You can also choose to look at calls or puts rather than both at the same time. You've probably noticed when I switched this column, it also mirrored it on the other side. Uh, don't worry, you can you can fix that. If you right-click on the columns, go to Column Setup, and uncheck Synchronize Column Order, that way you can actually choose a different order by either adjusting them here in this column selector or by dropping and dragging like I did before. And also, you can choose to display a little bit different information. If you want to know the high of the option, the low of the option in the last trade, you can add these. And once you have them added to your chain, you can organize them in any way that you see fit. I generally like to have the description in the center and then the prices going outward, but that's up to you. There's another way that we could have pulled up an option chain. If you go to trading, top menu, and then choose Option Chain, and then choose New Window. A new window will emerge, just like any other search window. You can either type in the name of the contract that you want to trade, or preferably, if you know the symbol, you can start typing the symbol in. This is the 30-year bond. And again, we can adjust the number of strikes that are viewable. We can adjust the view if we'd like to by going to Column Setup and changing our parameters. Now keep in mind, if we change the parameters and then we save our layout and our settings by going to File, Global Settings Save, and then Workspaces Save, all of those changes will save so that new windows will populate the way that you want them to. And again, if you wanted to 
sell an option, you find the strike price, it populates your order entry window, you change the price, and then you hit transmit. And this one was filled right away, so it immediately went from our active orders into our open positions. And you'll notice that we have the order details down here, so we can see everything that's going on. A cool feature in the Zaner 360 is the ability to shop around for options. If you want to look at multiple option months, you can simply change the view. It originally will say show by calendar, but you can change it to show by strike, and that will give you all of the various months of that particular strike price. So you'll see we have an option that's expiring on November 11th, November 4th, October 21st, and you can price them out all right here for the 159 and a half put.